So for our next topic, man, Kyle Shanahan, areas to improve in coaching decisions. Is Kyle Shanahan being outcoached? What areas need adjustment in his leadership? And how will these changes affect the team's chances to contend for the NFC title? We're not even going to go to the Super Bowl yet. Just making it past the NFC. So right about now, man, um, I got to be honest, man. One thing that we're not necessarily talking about is this game against the Vikings. You know, passing game struggle. Guys couldn't get open. We could talk about that. Uh, we can also touch on the run game. I mean, uh, the run, run defense. Um, uh, that kid, uh, what, Ty Chandler had a day, right? He came in and was an instant shot in the arm. That's something that I feel like isn't really being brought up. The fact that uh, they're still suspect in stopping the run. Like, what they did against the Jets does not move me. You went right back to what we thought you were um, against the Vikings. So, And this was against a really good offensive line, too. Two top 10 tackles in Christian Derrishaw and uh, Brian Long. O'Neal. Brian O'Neill, Brian O'Neill. Um, so they showed improved against that defense. Uh, I mean, there were some plays on defense where Brian O'Neill was was throwing Leonard Floyd around like a toddler. I mean, it was bad, right? Like f- leading with physicality. So I feel as though that's an entire topic that um, isn't necessarily being touched on. That you know, the trenches on the defensive side of the ball, they showed. Uh, they uh they had their slip was hanging. It wasn't looking too good uh with them. Um, but what I will say is uh Kyle got out coached. Brian Flores had a day against Kyle defensively, uh changed up a lot of fronts, um, used multiple different fronts against us. They dictated to us, they blitzed when they needed to, uh, used simulated pressures um a lot. Uh quite frankly, had Jake Brindle. Uh, a little confused at times um, with disguising some of their blitz looks. Uh, they obviously, they obviously did a lot. They obviously married the back end to what they were doing with the front, with the front end of their pressure. Uh, because all, not all six, but I damn near say five. Those were either coverage sacks or Brock being confused about what he was seeing downfield. And for me, that's something that um, it's not the fact that Brock was confused, but it just looked like they weren't prepared. That's on Coach Kyle. That's on Kyle. Uh, yeah. When you have your co- when you have your quarterback telling the defensive coordinator, like, man, you guys got some crazy stuff on defense um, after the game. Um, yeah, that's cool to hear, but that's also something that shows that Brock wasn't necessarily prepared. Uh, you look at. Um, let's go to week one. Um, even before we started really um, leaning on Jordan Mason, you go into that game, Kyle gets down into the red zone um, and he runs a reverse um, in the red zone when the entire, the entire, the entire world is looking at you like, bro, run the ball. Um, even earlier in that game, uh, we start, we did play action four times before uh, Jordan Mason had 10 carries, you know, and they were getting blitzed out the gate. And it's, and it's, you're looking at Kyle and you're saying, hey, man, you know, I understand Monday morning quarterbacks. I get it. And hindsight is 2020. But my man, this is in the now. What are you doing? How are you? How are you doing play action? Why are you what? Not even how, but why? Why do you think the defense is going to honor the run game with Christian McCaffrey out? They don't know who the hell Jordan Mason is. And they don't know who he is early in the game either. So yeah, no don't point. nobody know who he is. Nobody is going to respect that. No, no, I just I didn't understand it, it, that. It, it, it's a it's reflexive it. call. It, it's what Kyle wants to call. Not considering that McCaffrey is not in the game. Yeah, Kyle will, Kyle I, will do that sometimes. He'll make play calls where he doesn't factor in the personnel. Mm-hmm. That was to me. That was an example. It was a reflexive call. Yeah, it's just this is what we do. We do play action here. Well, yeah, no, 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 McCaffrey, no. you don't, and not this early in the game when McCaffrey is not in the game, and when Jordan Mason hasn't established himself yet. Yeah, I mean, you, you can do play action, but do it later. Mm-hmm. Doing it then, what does it buy you? It, it doesn't move the defense in any way. Yeah, so I, I mean, I didn't it, see the value yeah. in it. You, I, I, I don't, you know, against the Vikings, you know, we, we could talk about. Um, Like we said, we talk about all those things that happened in the game. You know, defense wasn't necessarily good against the run. Um, Debo wasn't getting open. Uh, Brandon was MIA. That's cool. 
But you just look at just overall, Mr. Offensive Coordinator. All right. First three drives, first four drives, punt, block, punt, downs, downs. Two, da- two like you're pressing. Turnover on downs and two drives in a row with a block punt. It's like, at what point does Kyle say to himself, man, let's get some points on the board? At the time, defense is still fighting. By the yeah. time, yeah. by the time the Niners, by the time the Niners were down by double point, uh, double, uh, double digits, rather, it was the two play 98 yard drive where they hit the 97 yard pass to, uh, to Justin Jefferson. Yeah. Before that, defense was okay, right? Yeah, it wasn't until was they got leveraged. Zone. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, on the offense, I, I think part of this is Kyle has a script. And so he's going by the script, not knowing in that script that McCaffrey wouldn't play. So that, mm-hmm. that's one element of it is that Kyle likes to lean on his script early. So I think that's why the early play calling was suspect mm-hmm. is that his script didn't factor in no McCaffrey. And, and yeah. so that plays yeah. into everything. Um, but beyond that, you, you just look at this offense and you say, eh, okay. But but let's take bigger picture first. Kyle lost to Flores in this game, basically. True. And you go back to it and you say, all right. When Shanahan first faced simulated pressure, Baltimore, Christmas night, five interceptions. Kansas City, Super Bowl, nine unblocked pass rushers on blitzes. All mm-hmm. simulated pressure. Most of them. Kyle has yet to resolve this. And so teams know, I bring simulated pressure on a Shanahan offense. They're not going to be prepared for it. They're not going to mm-hmm. have enough guys to block it. Purdy's not going to know what to do. The team is unprepared. Mm-hmm. That, that's the primary issue is that simulated pressure is a real problem for you. Baltimore killed you with it. So did Kansas City. And now here's Minnesota. Same thing. Mm-hmm. And as I wrote in my game recap, Kyle is 0-5 against the defensive coordinators that are the top four in the league. Mm -hmm. So that's Spagnuolo, Flores, Mike McDonald down in Seattle, and Jim Schwartz. Those guys own him. And what's Kyle done to show that he can face that and beat it? Nothing. I thought in the Super Bowl that he was going to learn from what happened against Baltimore and adjust. There were no adjustments, and they got beat by it. Minnesota. Where were the adjustments from Baltimore and in Kansas City? They didn't exist. So Kyle has to face this square on. He has to look at this and say, how do I prepare to stop simulated pressure? Until I do, that's a problem. And you look at the the schedule that's coming up. Those top four defensive coordinators, you got two games against Seattle and one against Spagnuolo in Kansas City. So if Kyle remains winless against those defensive coordinators because of what they bring. The Niners are looking at six and four at best 10 games into the season. Kyle has to solve this right now. A hundred percent. One of the biggest things that I've seen from our, from our offense is that we do a lot of shifting um, and we do a lot of movement trying to get the defense into areas that we want them to be in. Um, The problem is, is that I feel like defenses are dictating to us now. They're not letting us, put them in a position where our rules beat us, right? Because that's what Kyle loves to do. Kyle loves to take his time and get the defense in a conundrum where their rules are what makes them lose. He wants to find the mismatch. The only problem is, is that defenses are now dictating. They're pinning their ears back. They're not sitting back and trying to stop everybody on the field. They're going to go get Brock, okay? They're going to attack this offensive line. That's why I gave the offensive line a lot of credit because for what they've seen, yeah, six sacks, but I just don't think that our offense is used to being attacked on this level because we do the dictating. We slow down the pace and do one to two shifts per play to get the defense in the right position. But when you have Kyle running reverses and trying to run screens in the red zone and we're going five wide and empty three yards away, and then we got two turned over on down drives, it's just you got to understand that, yeah, Penalties matter, right? I saw the comment by Symmetry where some of those drives died on penalties. That's true, okay? But also, some of those drives that died on penalties happened later in the game when you know you have an older team that's going to get tired. 
We are not this team that can start the same first play, looks like our last play, and not to say that we can't get to that level, but it's going to take some time. We haven't had a camp with everybody in there. That's Kyle's job to understand that, right? And I just feel like now defenses are now teeing off on us. And I feel as though that earlier in the game, especially on the road, you take the points, bro. Take the points on the road, man. Sure, like it's a, nothing it's wrong. A maxim in the league. Yeah. 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 It's there's nothing wrong with Kyle understanding that I've got a very talented team, but it's I have to protect them now. I can't just brute force a win anymore where I put out what I want them to do. No, we got to start moving as if we're a team with weaknesses. 